Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Hot butcher up in this piece, son. Look at that guy. That's all beef, Frank. Um, I, I just want him, his name to be all beef, Frank. Like, that's his actual name. So we're calling that dude all beef, Frank. Um, uh, this is a Simcoe Nelson Savine Hopped Double India Pale Ale. Coming at 8% alcohol by volume. This was canned. How about you stop dating your cans? Why? That's weird. That's weird. Brewed and canned by Hot Butcher for the world in Chicago, Illinois, and Bedford Park, Illinois. So government warning, blah, blah, blah. Artwork, Dan Jetsa. I like the iridescence on this can. Tasting notes. Bright citrus. Crisp melon. Tangy. Berry. This comes from Hot Butcher. <sighs> Let's see what's what. All beef, Frank. So I will tell you this. I might anger some of you. I might anger all of you. I love hot dogs. I think any reasonable person who isn't like vegan or whatever, whatever, those people who don't eat hot dogs, whoever you may be, you know who you are. I love hot dogs. I think they're delicious, and I think that's kind of a no-brainer. I love ketchup on a hot dog. That's right. I'm, I'm not a mustard purist for all y'all out there. I know you go to Chicago and you ask for ketchup on a hot dog. I think they just shoot you on sight. Um, but I, I like ketchup on a hot dog. My baby pal likes the ketchup. I like the spicy mustard. I want horseradish mustard, actually, on my hot dog. And what else do I like? Onion. Raw onion. Always got to be there. I'm not opposed to cheese. I can get down with a cheese dog. I'm not a big chili dog guy. I think it's pump. I think it's a little bit too much. I think you're just trying to be too cool. Plus, it's show me someone eating a chili dog gracefully, and I will show you. I don't. I don't want to say the words I want to say. It just. It's just a red hot mess. I can live with or without the pickle. Like in Jersey, we have the hot dog joints. Most of them you get here is just mustard. You know, relish onion and um, pickle. They usually put a spear pickle on it. I can get down with that. My wife's got to have the pickle. Um, this is a, a massive hot dog reviews. Um, definitely what you'd expect from a nice, rich, double hazy IPA. Um, just that kind of like super oated, milky kind of look to it with this nice kind of glowing orange edge. A little bit solid, more core. The head has a little tinge of like offness to it not in a negative way it just looks a little like there's a touch of pink to it or something maybe there's ketchup in there i don't know i'm probably just seeing things but it looks the part of you want what you want from a really nice hazy did i tell you i like the label i forgot to say that jets of jets of resident that's what i say um so yeah the looks the part let's see if we get a nose i don't know what to think i think it smells good but i couldn't really tell you why I know that's, hey, Mr. Review Guy, you know the things to say. It's like super, it's almost like, let's talk about their tasting notes, even though we're on aromatics. Bright Sisters, sure, it's a hazy, come on. Uh, crisp Melon, Crisp Melon, sure. Uh, tangy Berry, I think we're going to hang on that Tangy Berry a little bit, or lean into that Tangy Berry. Maybe that's it. It comes off like Boo Berry. A little bit, not nearly as sweet or confectionery as that, but it definitely comes off as like Boo Berry or Captain Crunch Berry, that kind of berry. So a little confectionery, not super confectionery, but a little conve confection berryness on it, that's definitely in there. And this precursor this cool kind of like, might be a little weedy kind of bittering, something along those lines. Maybe it gets a little green grassy, but we won't know until we get into the taste. How about we do that? Cheers, y'all. That is delicious. It's definitely a berry thing, man. Hot Butchers, they got this berry thing on lock. Not that other brews haven't done it, but like, like more often than not, their hazies have berry kind of vibes in it. Who's the beer? There's another beer tuber who like refuses. I think it might be Mike from Nerd Sense. Refuses to use the tasting note of berry and hazies. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Mike. I'm not sorry. 
because you wouldn't be sorry either. Really nice mouthfeel. It's not super soft, super turbid, what you'd expect kind of from double hazy, especially from like upper echelon stuff like what Hot Butcher does, but it's full and it gets, it, it's, it's, it's nice because it lends itself to it being a little bit drinkable that it's not super, super dense. It's definitely a bittering here. It's a bit generic, maybe a little bit of resin, maybe a little bit of weed, but nothing too crazy, enough to balance off a rather bigger beer that is not overly sweet, overtly sweet, which I appreciate. There's enough sweetness here to let me know, enough to impact to let me know that I'm drinking something of bigger ilk, something at 8%. And the way the ton of fruits come off here, again, everything here is rather soft. You're getting the typical citrus you're getting different bits and pieces you can talk me into everything on this label but it really is that berry component again for me that kind of uh, boo berry captain crunch berry kind of thing with a much less sweetness is what i'm getting here and there is and i'm not going to say anything critiquey here and it might just be me there is a, a, a elevated carbonic thing here i think that's that's the stinging it's a hot pellet, probably, in combination with the carbonation. Um, uh, words are hard. Um, the carbonic acid is giving a little kind of stinging sensation on the tongue. That's pretty much it. It's a really tasty beer. Is it like, is it one of the better double IPAs I've had as lately? Let's go there real quick. Yes. It's a Mount Rushmore status. This is really, really close. But if I kind of compartmentalize it in the world of Hot Butcher, it's kind of like one of the middling... And I don't mean it in a negative sense because their hazies are so good. That little bit of stinging and the lack, I guess, of burst from the fruitiness. Like there's that berry lingering. That keeps it out of like the all-time status for Hot Butcher. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a very, very tasty beer. And I dig it quite a bit. Yeah. Double IPs. I like them when I like them. Um, so, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, Hot Butcher for the world. Uh, did I uh, Mount Rushmore this? No, but it's very tasty stuff. Worthy... Of, of a purchase let's put it that way their value and price point usually isn't too bad i think their doubles come in around like around me they come in around like 20 bucks but i think uh, chicago land 17 18 bucks um and leave you with if you like what we like this if you like if you're a haysboro hop that you'll like this and you like double ipas you'll take this hot butcher have you been to the brewery i have not i need to get there uh yeah, if you have their beers what's your favorite beer have you had this beer lately I don't know how I know there's been no, the, 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 I'll be frank I haven't reviewed this before I don't think I have anyway have you had this let me know down there let's talk about it hopefully enjoy the review hopefully enjoying a little bit of Chicago goodness right now hope we'll see you next time cheers y'all